Now in just one station, everything from weapons to watches and so much more in the wrong hands because police say a delivery driver was driven to steal. Simmons Brandon Byer is live in Pompano Beach. He has this exclusive. Brandon. Yeah, Belkis, when FedEx says they started noticing cell phone losses from one particular store in the tens of thousands of dollars, they called the Broward Sheriff's Office, who says when they started investigating, they got to the bottom of it pretty quickly. High-end electronics, cell phones, watches, earbuds, and tablets. All of it stolen, the Broward Sheriff's Office says, by a FedEx driver who detectives say wasn't making full deliveries. Our craft spies is very organized. Um, he did a really good job not to get caught. For a while, at least. I find probable cause for these charges. Until it came crashing down just a few weeks ago. Detectives say 34-year-old Vladimir Baumier was picking up packages from a Verizon store to be shipped out. But they say before the boxes made it to the facility to be processed, he'd helped himself to the contents. He was getting phones and packages from Verizon. He was opening the boxes. If there was 20 phones in there, he would take five, seal it, and send that off. FedEx got suspicious and asked BSO to investigate. Detectives say they quickly caught on to Baumier's scheme, which they say he was pulling nearly daily, 17 times in November and December alone, for a total of nearly $124,000. Once we realized, you know, the scale of what he was doing, we utilized a lot of uh, covert surveillance, uh, different types of electronic surveillance, which led us to the evidence that we've gathered here today. Once caught, investigators say Baumier came clean, told detectives he'd made around $10,000 selling the stolen goods to someone in Haiti, which seems a bit short since he was driving a Maserati around. Frankly, based on the nature of these offenses, I don't know that the court uh, should feel comfortable just taking his representations at face value. Baumier posted bond and is out of jail, but he's facing years in prison. Okay, so we reached out to FedEx, his former employer. They told us via email, FedEx Ground does not tolerate the use of its network for illegal purposes. We have a long history of cooperation with law enforcement and have responded as appropriate to their investigation of this matter. We're live tonight in Pompano Beach, Brandon Byer, 7 News.